Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I decided to show you guys what are my favorite hair care products right now. Um, somebody asked me in the comments like a month ago, asked me like, what are your favorite um, hair products? That would be a good video. And I was like, hey, why not? Really, really late, but here we go. So basically I'm gonna start with my favorite leave-in conditioners. Um, I use Cantu. Cantu's basically, I mean, when I decided to go natural, this was all over the internet, like even years ago. It's just like a Cantu rave, like, but it does work wonders. I really like it. It's good for me. I heard it's not good for everybody. It doesn't agree with everybody, but for me, it goes well. And I do want to note that my hair is texturized right now. So when it wasn't texturized and texturized, it's bomb. Um, another leave-in conditioner that's not really a cream but it's a liquid is by Carol's Daughter. It's the Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all, like I swear by this line. I think I mentioned the shampoo everything in a previous video. I, I don't, I just don't know what to say. Like this is, it smells great. It works great. It's just lit. So speaking of Carol's daughter, why not mention the shampoo and conditioner? Because, oh, why not? So I'm gonna start off with the shampoo. I'm kind of running a little low, but it's sulfate-free shampoo. It's for dry, dull, and brittle hair. It's also the black vanilla line. Like I said before, like, it's just lit it does it just works you have to try it i'll put my mom onto it she love it we don't have good luck with hair care products and i tell you this right here dog this right here is lit now this conditioner is like better than shampoo i don't know the conditioner is just life like it's all gone i need to head to target after this um also the black vanilla line everything the whole line is just just pop in. I haven't tried the other ones, but I just know the black vanilla, it agrees with me. My hair does tend to get really, really dry. It does tend to get brittle. When I had a relaxer, I had my relaxer with a texturizer, natural, all that stuff. Like, my hair is just dry. And it's great. Just, just pop it. Great. So now I'm going to mention the curling creams and smoothies and all that good stuff for to get the curls activating, percolating, all that stuff. So what I have here is the famous, and I do mean famous, Shea Moisture, <laughs> Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Everybody and their mama kids, 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 kids and grandpas and aunties know about this. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, it does work for me. I don't put it in my hair every day, um, but, it does like it works with me when I put the Cantu in first and then I go in with this it does get the curls percolating activating so and it's moisturizing so get it my next one that I didn't think that I would like I didn't like it the first time but I've been digging this is the carrot carrot care carrot care defining custard for curls and coils I put this in after I texturized my hair. My hair came out so bomb. Like, I took pictures of it. I was just like, I don't really feel myself. I've been using it like today. All I have is my Cantu and my Carol's Daughter Leave-In Conditioner. And this and my gel that I'm gonna talk about next. And I think I'm having a good hair day if I don't say so myself. So I really recommend this stuff. I don't know how much this costs. I kind of sold it for my mama. But this right here, dog, this right here, worth every penny. Oh, and before I forget, I have to mention the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard. It's all gone, too. That's why I'm using the Cure Care. Both great products. This is, it's everything. Honestly, I was putting this in my hair before my hair was texturized, and I love it. It really just... It holds your curls in place. It makes your curls just look bomb, like bomb. Favorite stuff. It can get a little pricey. I'm not gonna lie. That's why you know I ain't read up on it. You know, you know what I'm saying. But definitely worth it. I'm gonna have to invest in another bottle because 
it does work. So to get into gels and what are these things called edge controls, my favorite gel is the handy dandy eco styler. I use the olive oil. I'm going to get my hands on the castor oil one. I just want it because it looks sparkly in pictures like yeah I'm that person like it just looks cute so that's why I want that one too but this it works um with my hair being texturized it works more when my hair wasn't texturized I mean excuse me it will hold my hair in place really but it wouldn't um like if I try to use it to slick down my edges it, it's a no because the, the just the texture of my hair like sometimes it can if I definitely like put a wrap on it and leave it on all night it will hold but if I'm like in a rush 20 minutes it's not gonna hold nothing honestly truly but with texturized hair you know I can slick down my hair put a little hair tie on for like 10-15 minutes and when I tell you it's late you know what I'm saying it's late so that's what I do now I don't even use edge control I just use this gel and it is bomb so if you have like 3c hair it will work for you to slick down them edges so but for edge control the design essentials edge control is is bay this is the natural one it's not like the regular one they have like two lines like this one you can get at sally's and other beauty supply stores but this is great i like the smell of it and it actually does hold my hair when um my hair wasn't texturized so I could use this and basically put a hair tie wrap to me around and it would actually lay down my edges not all day I'm gonna say that because again the texture of my hair and I'll be sweating it's not gonna last all day but for, you get a few hours out of this which for me I'm gonna take it I'm gonna, I'll take that you know can't can't expect everything from every you know so it works so I hope you enjoyed this very short, quick, straight to the point video. Um, if you have any other hair related questions, I'm not a hair expert, but I'm kind of on this short hair journey and by myself doing different things by myself. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And hopefully you can like and subscribe, show me some love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.